In this chapter, Ben's building Baby Yoda's cradle. A portion of this video is sponsored by KiwiCo. The future of play is engaging, enriching, and seriously fun. Welcome to chapter four of the Mandalorian series. Over the next few months, Hacksmith Industries will be piecing together our very own Mandalorian suit. And we aren't just stopping at the armor. We'll be including a few weapons and even a couple of special builds. All leading up to an epic finale where James will don the suit for the first time and put it to the ultimate test. You definitely don't want to miss it. In chapter three, James built what is probably the most recognizable and iconic piece of the suit, the helmet. Before that, Caleb and I build the spear and blaster. And in the first chapter, Mando's flamethrower. If you missed any of it, there's a link in the description below. With the helmet now complete, we've moved on to the jetpack. And I gotta say, I cannot wait for you to see it. It's awesome. And if you can't wait either, just like every chapter of this series, it's available early, as in right now, exclusively for members. If you're not already a member and you would like early access to all of our videos before anyone else, click the link below. Okay, Din Djarin is great and all, and the series has introduced us to a bunch of new and interesting characters. But one character stands out in particular and has created a huge buzz. And if you're a fan of the series, you know exactly who I'm talking about. Baby Yoda. Somehow, they made Star Wars cute. Well, I guess some people thought the Ewoks were cute. What are those bird things from The Last Jedi? <laughs> and of course, Palpatine. Hey, Pal no? Huh. To each their own, I guess. Anyway, Baby Yoda has taken the world by storm. Meet Baby Yoda. Countless memes and boatloads of merch have popped up all over the place, seemingly overnight. We already have this amazing replica doll, so I guess now we just need to build this baby a cradle. Except this cradle flies, or floats, or hovers or whatever you call it. To design and build this floating cradle, we'll be enlisting the help of our resident drone expert, Ben. This is the first time I've ever designed something like this before, so there was a bit of a learning curve. To start off, I took references from the show and tried to keep it as simple as possible. In SolidWorks, I've designed a basic stick frame to form the shape of the cradle. I've already included mounting points for all the electronics we're going to need to make it fly, such as motors, flight controller. Now take a look at these cylinders here. They're really important to this design. They're the ducts. What the ducts do is they help form the shape of the drone and they funnel the air straight at the bottom. Now I want to make them out of plastic, and to do that, we're going to be 3D printing them on our new resin 3D printer. Lastly, this cradle needs to have the ability to seal up. I've designed a hood mechanism that works very similar to a baby stroller. I've mounted a single servo at the back that will pivot these stainless steel rods to seal it up. Before we start manufacturing the frame, we have to choose a material. There are a few key things we need to consider. Can we get it? Can we cut it? And is it safe to be around? Carbon fiber, for example. It's the standard choice for any drone. It's strong, it's light, but if you sand it or grind it, the dust is carcinogenic and incinerative. We could use balsa wood. It's light, it's cheap, it's easy to cut. There's only one problem. It's not quite strong enough. Aluminum, it's light, it's affordable, and we can cut on our laser cutter. And it's pretty strong. Looks like we have a winner, folks. Let's make it real.
People are constantly asking us, how do we get started in engineering? Which is why we're so thrilled to partner with KiwiCo once again. So thrilled that we're giving our viewers 50% off their first monthly crate. Sometimes when you're small, it's easier to think big and KiwiCo creates hands-on projects and toys designed to expose kids to concepts in STEAM, science, technology, engineering, art, and math. They believe that the small lessons today can mean big world-changing ideas tomorrow. And so do we. Each monthly crate comes with all the supplies needed, detailed kid-friendly instructions, plus an educational magazine for further learning. With eight subscription lines, each catering to a different age group and skill set, there's something for everyone. I may not have kids myself, but after completing a few of these kits, I can't think of a better way to get kids interested in making things. Check out kiwico.com slash hacksmith50 for 50% off your first crate, any crate. Just use the link in the description below. Plus, you'll be helping to support the channel and these awesome projects. Before I install the hood, I need to make this thing fly. To do that, I'm gonna use standard drone components. The flight controller, it's the brains of the operation. The speed controller turns the motors on and off, and the motors themselves spin the propellers. Let's put this thing together. Now we have our completed frame with electronics, but that's just it. It looks like a frame. To give it the right aesthetic, I'm going to be using vinyl to cover it. You can already start to see the shape kind of coming out of it. Wrap is done, time to install the hood. I almost forgot. We need Baby Yoda. I got Baby Yoda. But we have a bit of a problem. This, this baby's a little big. All right, it's all done. And it works pretty well. But it is just remote controlled. And this is the Hacksmith channel. So let's add some smarts to it. This is a Husky lens. It's a camera with integrated AI. We can teach it to recognize stormtroopers. And when it sees one, it will tell the pod to close up to protect Baby Yoda. We will have to use an Arduino to interface it with the drone. To see the circuit diagram on how this works, check out our page on maker.io. All right, I've gone ahead and done some programming and I've mounted the camera right here for a test. Let's see if it works. Okay, I think we're ready for the final test.
Hammer Blaster, Spear, Helmet, and now the Baby Yoda Cradle complete, we're getting closer and closer to finishing the entire suit. We'll be back in Chapter 5 to build the Jetpack. That video is available right now to members. Of course, if you're not already a member and can't get enough of our Mandalorian series, click the link below to become a member and revel in all that early access glory, getting to see our videos before anyone else. This is the way.